reconing an electric voice speaker using a fixture. Clean the speaker just like you would on any other speaker. We have video instructions on our website. Cover the voice coil gap with another layer of tape to trap any debris that might be on the old tape during the cleaning process. Use a shim with masking tape so the sticky side is on both sides and clean the voice coil gap. Do this repeatedly until it comes up clean. Put the shim on the fixture as shown and slip the voice coil onto the fixture. It will stop at the correct height. Insert the assembly into the voice coil gap until the shim hits the bottom and then dry fit your spider. Slightly turn the spider to ensure that it remains even and flat. You don't want it depressed or raised on one side. Dry fit the cone. Now you're ready to do the actual gluing. Remove the cone and remove the voice coil fixture and spider all in one set. Apply glue to the bottom of the spider. If you choose not to purchase a fixture, which will ensure that the voice coil is set at the correct height, you can still recone the speaker using standard gel shims. We send them at no charge. Insert your fixture, voice coil and spider, and again press down on the spider and lightly turn the voice coil so that the spider will become level. You don't have to worry about setting the height of the voice coil because the fixture does that for you. Make sure you align your leads with the speaker terminal. Fold them over and get them out of the way and then mix your epoxy. Always do it on a separate board or piece of paper or cardboard as shown here and mix well. Don't just apply it from the injector onto the voice coil. You want to mix it separately. And then apply a bead of epoxy where the spider meets the voice coil. Do it in a full circle. We're just doing a very light bead where the spider and voice coil meet all the way around 360 degrees. Now you're ready to glue your cone. So apply glue on the frame where the cone will sit. And using the nozzle of the glue, spread it, the glue out so that it's got a nice bead on the frame. Install the cone. Make sure the cone is level. You don't want it to be high on one side. Then glue and install the gaskets. We use a small piece of tape to hold the gaskets in place where they meet to make sure the gaskets don't move when you turn the speaker over. Do the same thing with the epoxy. Mix a new batch and apply a thin bead where the cone meets the voice coil. Do a nice even bead, 360 degrees, and when you're done, turn the speaker over so it can rest overnight.